The Doxys mode will allow us to demodulate SCQAM single channel QAM carriers as well as Doxys carriers and to initiate the ranging and registering processes into the cable TV network. The screen interface and the distribution of its elements is very similar to the spectrum analyzer mode. So we will focus only on those tools that are exclusive to this mode. First, let's check the spectral content that we are receiving. We will modify the span to full span. In order to increase the spectrum resolution, we will select the resolution bandwidth of 230 kHz. We will move to the scan mode to have a quick overview of the spectral content, where we can see the SCQAM TV carriers displayed in blue, the DOCSIS 2.0 and DOCSIS 3.0 carriers in purple, and the DOCSIS 3.1 in yellow. This is a very quick way to identify that we are receiving now a DBG DOCSIS group of 32 DOCSIS 3.0 carriers and one DOCSIS 3.1 carrier. The rest are SCQAM TV carriers. In order for this to be displayed, it is important to remember that we need to define the signal type as QAM, DOCSIS 2.0, 3.0 or 3.1 in the active channel plan. If we don't know this information, we can demodulate any of the carriers by tuning them from the scan mode. If the signal symbol rate was 6875 kilo symbols per second, the channel will be a SCQAM TV carrier with 256 QAM modulation. If it was 6952 kilo symbols per second, then it'd be a Eurodoxis 3.0 carrier with 256 QAM modulation. And if it was 5630 kilo symbols per second, then it'd be a Doxis 3.0 carrier with 256 QAM modulation. The Doxis 3.1 channels can obviously be spot easily because of their much greater channel bandwidth. Once we have all that information, we can add it to the active channel plan. The scan DBG view from the DOCSIS mode will provide us a scan mode but showing only those carriers that have been defined in the channel plan as DBG carriers. In our current case, we have a DBG group made of 32 carriers, as we can see on the screen. By pressing the DBG button, we can see a list of several DBG groups that we can define for our network. And by pressing one of them, in our case we only have one, we can see all the carriers included in the selected group and tune them, showing the selected carrier in blue. In the right screen, we can find its main measurements. The in-detail measurement for each carrier can be done from the spectrum mode by tuning and demodulating the carrier of interest and pressing the system button in the upper right corner on the screen. From the scan DBG mode, previously mentioned, you can launch a data logger that will store all measurements for all channels in the active channel plan. Our next step will be to analyze DOCSIS carriers in more detail. We will start by DOCSIS 3.0 carriers. We will tune one of them and initiate the ranging process. This will activate the meter's internal cable modem, which will try to complete the process. In the upper right area of the spectrum window, we can see an indicator labeled CM cable modem, which will be displayed in green if the cable modem is operative. 
or in red in case it is turning on or under a reset process. Once the process is completed, we can see a summary of the downstream and upstream data. More specifically, we can see in the downstream area the information about the carrier modulation standard, its symbol rate, modulation, MER, pre and post BR, interleaving used, and carrier offset. For upstream, we can see the assigned UCD, upstream channel descriptor, carrier frequency, its symbol rate, and bandwidth modulation power level and attenuation level from the CMTS. Now we can start the registering process into the cable TV network. We must press the registering button. Once this process has been completed, we will see for both the downstream and upstream DOCSIS carriers their central frequency, power level, MER and symbol rate. Besides, the analyzer will display as well the IP addresses for the cable modem, gateway and DHCP and TFTP servers, plus their subnet mask. If the analyzer's MAC address was not previously registered in the CMTS, it is possible that you cannot see information about any carrier or just for the service carrier. Now let's see the same process over a DOCSIS 3.1 carrier. We initiate the ranging process. Once that is completed, we will see the information corresponding to the DOCSIS 3.1 carrier for downstream, OFDM transmission system, PLC carrier frequency within the DOCSIS 3.1 multiplex, total amount of carriers used in the OFDM modulation, MER for the PLC carrier, active carriers, modulation used by the NCP carriers, and interleaving time, and spacing between carriers. For upstream, UCB channel assigned by the CMTS, carrier frequency used, its symbol rate, bandwidth, modulation, and power level and the carrier attenuation from the CMTS. If we now press the low central button labeled registering, the analyzer will initiate the registering process into the network. Once this is completed, we will be shown the list of OFDM, DOCSIS 3.1 and DOCSIS 3.0 carriers for both upstream and downstream, and their respective frequency, power level, MER and symbol rate. In the lower right area, we can check the IP addresses and subnet mask for the cable modem, gateway and the DHCP and TFTP servers. Finally, back to the main screen, if we demodulate the DOCSIS 3.1 carrier, we will access to an area showing all the quality measurements and carrier modulation parameters. Specifically, in the upper table the OFDM MAX data is shown and we will be informed about DOCSIS 3.1 carrier bandwidth, number of OFDM subcarriers and spacing between them, channel ripple RMS power, ICFR in channel frequency response and lastly the MER standard deviation and percentile calculation. We display additional data about the PLC carrier in the lower left table. Its frequency, power level, MER and modulation. Corrected erroneous code word rate. Non-corrected erroneous code word rate. In the lower central area we are shown the corrected and non-corrected code word rate for both the NCP carriers and those corresponding to the profile A. In the right area we can see the constellation for the PLC carrier set. 